All right, so now that I've uh, done my low quality settings here, I want to kick it up a little bit. I want to kick it up a notch, um, you know, add, add a little more quality into this. So I'm pretty happy with all my refinements to this point um, that I've made um, with my file. Obviously, I'm kind of starting with the preset up file, so I, I really wasn't doing any refinements. But, you know, like I said, the settings I showed you were for purposes of doing refinement. Um, so now once I have that kind of locked in, I'm like, all right, now I want to kind of produce something that I can kind of show to some people so that they can get a pretty good sense of what's going on um, with what I've kind of set up and what I've created. Um, I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to go back into my um, my render settings. And uh, in my render settings, um, like I said, I, I do want to change my um, indirect illumination value here. Like I said, um, I know you guys thought that, you know, or, or at least I said you might think that 200 and 180 seemed kind of high. Um, but if I go back and I look here, you can actually see there's a little bit of difference between just where this geometry is tight and uh, you have the lighting calculations here um, where there's some just kind of some splotchiness I can see here like some this is lighter underneath versus uh, this is much darker um, underneath this this guy right here so that's basically what that number is kind of controlling um, as well as kind of my my uh, lighting calculation so like I said I, I want to turn that back up usually I just kind of leave that at 200 and 180 um, and usually I'm just like sticking right around 250 for pretty much all of my scenes if I have some extra time or want to turn it up some I turn it up um, you know or if I go really overboard, maybe I crank it up to like 600, but I mean, really you can leave it at 250, you know, all day and be perfectly fine. Um, so really those were the settings I kind of talked about before and I'm just gonna turn them up to what I typically default them to. Um, all my other settings here are exactly the same. I still have a one, 0.01, a um, thousand, you know, I'm not really changing anything there. I'm not changing anything kind of in here. Um, I'm, I'm leaving all this stuff the same. The, the only thing, you know, so that's basically my entire default setup. So basically the only thing I typically change is this number right here, my max subdivides. Um, so what I showed you was at one. And, you know, again, I'm leaving, leaving the resolution the same. So it's at 1200 by 900. And the only thing I'm gonna change is this value from one to two. And we're gonna run this at a value of two and just see how long uh, it is taking. And, um, you know, that's basically it. This is the only number that I'm going to change kind of from this point on. And and that's, you know, that's kind of it. So what I'll do is um, I'll just put a uh, frame stamp on here in my settings. And I wanna make sure that the uh, render time is what I am stamping. Um, and you know that's all I'm going to kind of do so two would be for like a, a low medium kind of uh, rendering um, if I went to three that would be like a medium um, a four would be like a high medium which is usually what I do like my final stuff at um, you know a six would be like uh, a high kind of setting seven would be very high and eight would be like production kind of kind of a bit ridiculous, um, you know, kind of if you, if you have a lot of extra time and, you know, you, you, you know, you have plenty of, uh, you, you know, computers to kind of run your images, um, you know, then go ahead and do this if you have a lot of images going on and you can go ahead and crank it up to eight. Um, really, six is, you know, more than enough for final kind of production stuff. I mean, like I said, typically I'm at four here for this value and uh, I'm getting away with most of my stuff at four. Um, and, you know, and this will increase my time quite a bit, just cranking it up to four. So, you know, really that's where I'm sitting for my kind of high-end stuff. Um, and, and, you know, that's that's probably like um, maybe 50% of the time I'm at four. The other 50% I'm at three when I kind of produce my stuff. It just kind of depends on how much time I have. If I'm really under the gun, I, I actually lower it down to three just to get the stuff out the door. And it's, you know, it's you can tell there's a difference. It's, it's uh, you know between the two images that uh, three will produce or four will produce, there is a difference, but overall, um, the three really is not, not that bad compared to the four. Um, but like I said, right now I'm gonna run it at two, and then what I'll do is I'll basically double it and crank it up to four, so we'll kind of skip three. Um, so right now I'm gonna run this image here at two, and um, you know, like I said, I've cranked up uh, this value a little bit and I've cranked up this value a little bit. Those are typically my defaults, um, but my overall V-Ray setting is at one and two here. Um, so I'm just gonna get out of here. Uh, what I'll do is I'll do a save as, and what I'll do is I'll call this optimized uh, medium, for example. 
and you know I'm, I'm just kind of saving my files in, in iteration here um, you know you could also if you really wanted to go in and, and set up some uh, presets for your settings um, if you wanted to do that and load your presets uh, you can see I actually have a couple of presets in there customized um, but you know I, I really don't want to um, do any of the presets I'm just kind of saving out the iteration file names just because um, that's the way I want to do it um, but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and hit render here and you can see that's the image from before and actually you know what I'm gonna cancel this um, what I want to do is I want to make a clone of this window just so you guys can see this uh, for comparison once once this finishes so I'll hit my render button again and uh, I'm gonna let this go through just the lighting calculations because I because the lighting calculations I've set up should go fairly quick um, you can see it's getting into the uh, light cache calculation and we're looking at an estimated time of like 10 seconds compared to three minutes at the uh, very start of uh, with the pre setup file and we're getting into the um, pre pass the radiance map which did uh, one of one there and you know fairly quickly and now it's in two of two uh, so really most of the time is just going to be spent on the rendering of this image which it's uh, getting into right now and we'll let it kind of um, come in here and get started in terms of um, just getting this uh, getting this going and giving you an estimate for how long this is going to take and uh, once that estimate kind of gets started here then um, what I'll do is go ahead and pause the video let this finish and then we'll compare the um, beginning image to kind of the final image and then what I'm going to do is crank it up to kind of what I typically do um, my my final settings at and you can see this is looking right around uh, you know 12 13 minutes here um, you know maybe it'll be done in in about 12 or so so let me go ahead and pause the video and then I'll pick it back up here once this image is finished all right so this image is uh, just about done here it's um, finishing up just over 10 minutes right around uh, 11 minutes and if I kind of um, drag this just over here to the side and um, compare it to my original image here um, you can see that uh, some of these things have uh, started to be cleaned up um, quite a bit uh, in the image you can see uh, especially here on the bumper um, some of this area is definitely a little more refined um, you know some of some of this area also up here is, is a little more refined you know it's, it's not something that is um, super dramatic but I mean like it definitely does make uh, somewhat of a difference um, in terms of uh, seeing this you know this this line here and I can see I uh, begin to see some of my um, you know little pock marks and my my concrete whereas before it was kind of blending in and I could I can only see the streak um, you know like I said here it's definitely a, a lot more uh, refined in terms of the calculations here it's it's a much harsher um, speckle that's going on um, if I kind of drag this over here just to the side you can also see here it's a it's much much harsher of a, a speckling kind of noise uh, element going on in here on the front of my tire uh, much harsher uh, here as well so you can see overall it, it definitely has improved quite a bit and uh, if I was to print this out um, you know uh, just on a, a, a typical uh, color kind of copy or printer on um, this would be something all right that you know maybe I could start showing around to some people like I said it's it two is definitely a, a low medium kind of a setting but you can see it, it finished here in 11 minutes so not a huge amount of time um, but enough time that you know maybe I don't show this where it's like very apparent that there is a kind of render artifacts but maybe here where some of these artifacts are, are softened a little bit more I can start to show this around and uh, you know it's a, it's a fairly decent sized image and it's it's rendering out fairly quickly um, so what I'm going to do is actually I, you know I'm, I'm a little bit worried if I, I crank it up to four I know I said I would go to four and typically that's where I'm at most of the time um, you know for my final images but I'm a little bit worried that um, you know it, it might not be uh, enough so what I want to do is I, I kind of want to clone this viewport here um, I'm gonna come back to my uh, my render settings and I just want to crank this up to um, to six actually and you know again I'm not changing any of my other values these values are all staying the same and uh, all these values also are, are kind of all staying the same um, but what I want to do is I just want to come in here and uh, I want to render this this region out and uh, I want to see exactly um, you know where that noise is kind of uh, occurring um, if this is going to be enough to kind of take care of um, that noise um, that's occurring here so I'm going to render this out 
at uh, six and um, see basically how how it's looking at six um, and if it's looking terrific maybe I'll go with it otherwise maybe I'll turn it down to four and see what it looks like so let me pause this video as this uh, goes goes through here all right guys so I've actually ran a, uh, a series of uh, tests here just to kind of show you the difference between um, them and kind of going left to right this is where we started at one uh, the next one here is two this is at four um, then six and then eight and I know it's kind of hard to see but um, because just because the red the red render region is gone um, this is kind of the area that I was rendering out and testing um, so this is the final one which was uh, done at eight and you can see it's it's right here so if I'm, I'm looking at this really between eight and six I mean they're you know they're pretty similar again it's a subtle difference but when I print this out six is definitely going to be um, just as comparable as eight um, you know the other thing if I look at four yeah it's it's quite a bit of difference between uh, four and six but again if I print it out it'll probably be pretty good so if I'm doing some kind of final uh, big print you know uh, and uh, and I want it to look all right then I'll, I'll use six and if you know if I have some extra time maybe I'll crank it up to eight um, you know and if I really need to just kind of get it out and still have it look all right then then I'll use four um, but you know there's there's a little bit more speckling going on here um, t you know two and one I would would not even really consider um, these are just kind of more preliminary stages of, uh, of your rendering and of the development of it um, just between these two guys over here so you know if, if you're in a rush for uh, you know if you're you're doing all right on time six and if you're uh, super band and you have a lot of time then uh, you know maybe you crank that guy up to eight um, just to get that kind of really refined and when you print this out um, you know it it'll look you know just fine on on a print uh, printed out and you know I know you see some speckles up here and, and around here but you know my render region was right in this area um, so you can see that's that's pretty refined and, and pretty uh, pretty good looking uh, in terms of the overall image quality um, so there's one other or uh, one other thing I want to do here and um, uh, set up and then I'll, I'll show you guys the uh, um, the kind of final uh, image setup, um, um, but uh, basically that's it. Um, I would kind of run this out, and and that would be my image. Um, so that's really kind of the the end of the tutorial. Um, I just want to try something else here real quick, kind of on the fly, um, see if I can't get this refined a little bit more, um, and I'll come back here and just let you know if it uh, had any effect on uh, my image, and uh, if it didn't, then I'll just kind of leave it at there and uh, come back and just let you know the results. Let me pause this and uh, just test this out real quick. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you uh, one one last thing here. Um, I tested it out, and it actually kind of worked all right. Um, I do kind of warn you, though, you're going to lose some of uh, um, just the reflectant quality of um, the lighting, and, and you can see down here from this this last little preview that I ran, um, I actually went back down to the value of uh, two setting here um, on my max subdivides, which is this image right here. So if you compare um, from here to here, essentially that's the same image that I'm rendering out. And if you're asking yourself, well, why is it different? Um, you know, I, I went in and I kind of had a hunch. That, like I said, this was a preset up file that I just kind of inherited and was uh, showing you guys the settings I typically use for my stuff. Um, and what's going on with the material here is you know the way they have this set up there's a lot of uh, reflection and kind of specular action going on here um, you know for this very glossy kind of uh, reflective uh, car paint so um, I kind of had the assumption that um, my clamp out value um, would have basically taken down some of that noise and, and kind of specular action um, so what I what I did here was essentially the clamp out value was enabled only it was set to one by default um, so what I did is I came in here and I set it down to 0.2 and ran this image. And essentially doing that gave you uh, this quality of render right here. So, you know, if you're really in a bind and, um, you know, if you, you have something that, that does have a lot of uh, noise like uh, like this kind of preset up file here where there's a lot of kind of stuff going on, um, you don't necessarily want to run the 8 image cause just because it's taking too long. Um, you didn't want to crank it all the way up to 8. Like I said, typically I'm running my stuff at 4. Um, you know, maybe you do go the 4 route, which was, was this guy right here. But instead what you do is you come in here and uh, you just adjust your clamp out value a little bit to get rid of some more of that noise. Um, so there is kind of that option. Uh, you know, really typically I'm not doing that. It's just really how this material was set up. Um, you know, they probably really have their 
the reflection and, and uh, kind of specular action uh, really cranked up uh, in, the, in the depth of their material here. Um, so, you know, I had to kind of come in here and, and make that final tweak uh, just to get rid of some more of that noise and, and keep this max subdivide down because, you know, as I really crank this up, it definitely is going to increase my render times um, as it improves the quality of it. Um, so, you know, it's kind of to keep that within four, um, you know, that's, that's kind of uh, what I want to do. So what I'll do here is uh, I'm going to crank this back up um, just a little bit. I'm not going to go to four. I'm going to go to three. Um, I'm going to leave my clamp out value here uh, down. I'm going to render the whole image out and uh, I'm going to pause the video as it's doing that and uh, come back and show you guys the final image. And uh, that's, that's really it for it. So let me pause this here and then I'll show you guys the final image um, rendered out with the settings here, one and three. And like I said, all these are still the same in the Direct Illumination Settings tab. Um, the only thing I kind of went in and tweaked here at the end to clean up a little more noise is this clamp out value. And like I said, I had to do that because of just how the materials were set up. Uh, so let me go ahead and pause it and I'll run this uh, last sequence here. All right, guys, I'm going to make uh, just one more final piece of advice. I, I you know, like I said, I, I was uh, running this uh, uh, to do the final output here, and I had adjusted this value just to kind of compensate for some of the materials. But, you know, I just was, wasn't happy with uh, quite the way it was looking. It was just um, affecting my colors too much um, as far as clamping that output. Uh, you know, I was cleaning it up quite a bit, and it did look quite a bit nicer. But, you know, I just really wasn't happy with it. So. You know, if I am going to change the value, I'm, I'm just going to change it very minimally um, just so that it doesn't affect it that much. And I'm still going to run it at one and three. Uh, so let me pause the video again here. I'll, I'll run this out and then show you the final image. All right, guys. And uh, I just want to show you um, what my final image is looking like here. Um, <clears throat> it basically... Uh, rendered out in about 20 minutes and uh, I did a little bit of just a post-production here in Photoshop but this is basically what it uh, looks like for 20 minute rendering um, which is not too bad and like I said I kept the resolution pretty much exactly the same as it was before um, so instead of taking you know three or four hours it, it took 20 minutes um, and you know if I were to print this out it would look uh, pretty decent it really would not look all that bad um, you know, I, I still have a little bit of noise and some other issues, so I could turn that up, that number up a little bit higher to like four, five, six. But uh, you know, for the most part, I'm pretty happy with this. I can print it out and uh, you know start to showcase this, showcase this as a um, you know something that I can at least get some discussion going on. Um, so that's it for this video. Um, tomorrow I'll be posting some more videos uh, just about opti optimizing your settings. Um, so kind of look out for those, but. Um, for right now, these are basically the default settings within Max um, that I that I always use. The videos I'm going to post later are more about um, how to control your geometry in Max uh, so that you don't increase your render times.